All right, welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, I'm going to break down how to build a recurring revenue membership model. Now, the way I break that down is very simple. When you have a client that pays you one time, every 30 days or every quarter or every year, there's an automatic payment again. So this reduces the amount of times that you have to sell to them to stay in your program. And this is how I've been running my business for many, many years now. And I will tell you, if you're a coach or a business owner watching this, like, this will help you generate a lot more income in your business without having to sell over and over and over. And the way that I do this is I use a very simple piece of software. It's called SamCart. And in this video, I'm going to just show you inside my account, how it's set up, how it works. And I'm going to give you some examples of how you can do this for yourself. Now I will tell you, and I've said this at nauseum <laughs> over the past couple of years, if you don't have a business and you're not operating like a business, setting something like this up is not going to work for you. So you need to have a legal business in order for this to actually work. So if you haven't done that, make sure you do that. If you already have a legal business set up, I'm assuming you're watching this video because you're probably frustrated with how you're getting paid right now from your clients. And I promise you, if you watch this whole video, this will solve a lot of your problems and it will make your business a lot easier to run the future as well as your business is going to be a lot more professional um, when you're having your clients pay you. All right. So now I'm going to show you just really quickly um, some examples I've used uh, for myself when, since I've been using Samcar, I've been using it for, I think over five years now. Um, and it's awesome. All right. So I've done one-on-one -on -one training, small group training, camps, clinics, online coaching, uh, I've sold a lot of different types of uh, online products on their uh, consulting. And this is really perfect if you have any sort of service-based business. So if you are working with clients and you want your clients to commit to a monthly or a quarterly or an annual uh, program with you, uh, having SamCart is going to solve a lot of problems. Now, what I'm going to do here is very simple is I'm going to walk through this document. You can just see it on the screen. All right. So we have eight steps here. And, um, I will tell you that like when you go through this, it's very simple to set up. If you follow the instructions, if you don't follow these instructions, um, I think it'll take you a lot longer to set up than it should. So first things first, below this video, the first link in the description, it'll just say, uh, get your free 14 day trial here. Um, you can just tap on that link. That takes you over to SamCart and you can get a free 14 day trial. Personally, I recommend getting their most affordable plan. I believe it's $49 a month. Um, and you can grab that plan. Like you can do most things with that. If you are doing like upsells and things like that, you probably want to choose the middle tier plan that they have. It's a little bit more expensive. I think it's a hundred a month. Um, that's the one that I use. And that one's great if you want to do more advanced things. Um, on their software. So go check out the free 14 day uh, trial there. Then from there, all right, what we want to do is we want to set up a free account on either stripe.com or paypal.com. Now, if you do it on Stripe, it's very easy, but you need to have like your business information. So they're going to ask you questions on there. Uh, only way you can like properly fill it out is if you have your, uh, like your EIN number, there's certain things that you'll have within your business that they're going to require. And after you get that set up on Stripe, all we do is we integrate that with SamCart. Now, a lot of questions I always get is, well, Ben, why do I need to set up Stripe, right? Stripe is going to be the mechanism. So when people pay from SamCart, right, the money goes straight to Stripe and the money in Stripe, it's almost like a bank account. And from there, it gets released to your business checking account. That typically happens between, uh, I would say between one and four days, depending on how long you have your account. Um, typically on my account, when someone pays, I, I get paid typically within 48 hours. Like that goes to my business checking account. 
So that might, you know, you might be asking yourself, well, why do I need a SAM card if I can just use Stripe? Well, if you use Stripe to process your payments, you're not really sending anyone to a landing page. And this is what people need. They need a landing page so they can read more about your service. They can agree to your terms. They can see testimonials from clients who've already gone through your program. And when you have a, a proper landing page set up, then your conversion is higher when people pay. And that could be for any service you have. That could be a digital product. That could be a service-based uh, business. Doesn't matter. So we need to have the landing page, with the, which is Sam Carp, and you need to integrate that with Stripe. So that's why first thing you do is you set up a free Stripe account. And then from there, we will integrate that back with Sam Carp, and I'll show you how to do that in a second, All right? You can also use PayPal to do this. Personally, I recommend having both. Um, Sam Cart will show you how to integrate both of those. If you just go to their help button, once you get an account, you click on that, you can type in a uh, Stripe account. It'll show you how to set it up. If you do the same with PayPal, it'll show you how to set up. So I give people the option to pay with both um, when uh, they're trying to join my program, all right? Next. All right, and what I'll do here is I'll pull this up. So I'm within Samcart right now, right? And right now I'm within the settings. And here, this is one of the first things that happens after you set your account up. You're going to give yourself a marketplace name. Um, that can be your name, that can be your company name, whatever you want. Um, and there's a lot of different things on here. Most of these are, are really not important at all. Um, but if you're doing any sort of ads or you're tracking, like analytics, you can go in there and customize that and you can go very deep with it. Next here on the left, it says processors. So this is where you wanna set up your processor. So you can see on mine, I have PayPal and Stripe. And if you're brand new and you don't have uh, an account yet or you, you're setting up an account, you just go to this button here, click on that, and it will walk you through how to set it up on Stripe. Again, that will take you probably less than five minutes, all right? Then on integrations, uh, personally, I don't use this. You can integrate with a lot of different email servers. Um, so when people buy things, they get tagged and get on certain email lists. I don't really get into that, not that important. Um, and then custom fields here, this is set up to where like when someone comes to your checkout page, you can create custom fields. So you know who this customer is, you know who referred them. Very powerful stuff here. And this is, ultimately what I have. So if someone signs up for my program and they go through the referral name, if they type in that person's name, now I can, can trace that back to the referral and say, all right, well, now you're gonna get a credit for this. And all of that's detailed and organized. Um, same thing with jerseys. Um, I mean, there's different things you can do here. Now, let me go back to the document. So we have already set up the free account on Stripe and PayPal, all right? So let me show you how to customize your receipts here. So if you go to general and then we go down, whoops. Yeah, we click on email. So here's where there's a lot more uh, settings here that I, I think are really important. And what you wanna do is where it says uh, customize emails, you wanna go through these one by one and edit those how you want based off of your business, all right? So this is what happens when someone pays. So when someone pays, they get an order receipt. So you can go and edit that, and then you can send a test email so you can see exactly what it looks like. Um, same thing happens with refunds, like all of these things here, all right, you can go in, edit those, and that way it's not like some generic message, it's something that you create. Uh, you could have a video there if you want, I mean, you could, you could be very customized with how you set that up. Um, I recommend going through those sort of things and doing that before you have people pay. All right, so before your clients pay, this is something you do kind of on day one, all right? Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just quickly show you an example um, of how to set up a $400 a month, 12 month membership, all right? Pretty simple here. So I'm gonna go to dashboard, and top left, I'm gonna click on products. So I'm gonna click on products, new product. I'm just gonna say uh, client test, all right? 
So you'll see here where it says description. I'm just going to put, I'm going to make this really simple. The description is not that important here when you do this. So I'm going to put 12 month, uh, $400 a month commitment. And then where it says pricing type, this is why I love this system because it's so flexible with how you collect money from people. So here it says one time payment. Now, if you're doing a, a monthly commitment, it never needs to be, you should never have it on one time commitment because or one time payment because that's just going to collect once and then it's going to shut off. So I like doing recurring. All right. One other thing that you can do is you can do pay what you want. This is great for digital products because you could have something where, um, people can pay whatever they want for it. And that works very well in that space. Um, and this is something I'm tapping into coming up. Uh, but we'll go here recurring and I'm going to make this here 400. That's a subscription price. And you'll see here, it says recurring period weekly. So that means if someone pays today, seven days later, they get billed 400 again. So I need to change that. So I'm going to put monthly, but you can see here, we can do monthly, quarterly, weekly, yearly custom days. So you could do every six months they get billed. You can be very customized with how you set this up. All right. So I'm going to go here to monthly. All right. Then I'm going to click here, create product. Boom. And this will just take two seconds here. And when we get to this page here, all right, I'm just going to review this very simple. Now where it says, thank you page URL. This is where, again, you can be really customized here or you don't have to do this, but I could send someone to a different URL after they pay. This could be a thank you video. Uh, this could be another offer for something else. I could do whatever I want. And so can you. So here, that's where you just paste in the link for the URL. And again, I just want to review this, make sure this is set up properly. So initial price, 400, recurring price, 400. Monthly frequency, or sorry, recurring frequency, frequency uh, monthly, number of rebels. So right here, it says enter zero for nonstop. So when I do this, personally, I have clients sign up for 12 months minimum, all right? So with the rebills, I put zero because it says enter zero for nonstop. So that means the billing continues beyond 12 months. And the client has the option to cancel after 12 months if they do it within 30 days of like their last billing cycle. All right. So I'm just going to use a very simple example here. Let's say your client signs up on January 1st. All right. They sign up for a 12 month commitment. So all of 2021, they are committed. And in order for them to cancel, they need to cancel and, and let you know, hey, we're not going to continue in year two. And they tell you before December 1st, all right? So that means they have 30 days to tell you if they're going to cancel, all right? So pretty simple. They need to give you a 30 day notice, most gyms, do 60 or 90 day. So I like doing 30 day. I think it's really simple because you can explain that easily over the phone. So that's set up again, where if they want to, to continue, then they just stay on that price and you don't have to sell them anything again. All right. But once they pay, they're automatically going to get rebuilt. You don't have to keep sending them this link over and over. All right. Pretty simple there. Now let me click on checkout design. This is where a lot of people can get confused, all right? But we want this to be easy for you. So they have these different templates here and they have these ones, all right? There's a lot of different things that you can do. Now I'm gonna just show you, I'm gonna click this one. It says launch pad, I'm gonna click here. And then I'm going to go down, click on launch, drag and drop builder. And when I get here, You'll, you'll see, it just kind of shows up blank, right? All it, all it has is the, the checkout information. Um, and before Samcart upgraded their, their software, my pages used to look very similar to this. I would have a little bit of text on it. It would just recap what the person's buying and then it would have the order form and then they would just pay. So now what you can do is you can treat this like a website and this is pretty awesome. So I'm just gonna just show you a couple of things that you can do here. So I'm just gonna say um, 12 month commitment to, I'm just gonna say 
test training. And then I can go back here. And then if I want, I, I recommend uh, a lot of business owners to do this. You can come here and put a video. And in the video, you can explain a recap of what they're getting. Or you could, uh, essentially, you could just tell them, all right, after you enrolled today, here's the next steps. So the video can be very important because they're watching you recap something or, or you're telling them what to do after they buy, right? Uh, next one here is I can come down, I can put some bullets, right? So this, this could be the benefits or this could, again, recap what they're getting, right? I'm not gonna go through and plug all this in here um, just because I know that's gonna take uh, a little bit more time than I need to here. Uh, next here, I can put some testimonials. And I will tell you from experience, if you have testimonials on your checkout page, you will convert clients at a higher rate than if you don't. And I know on most checkout systems, you are not able to plug things in like that. So this is why I recommend this platform because you can customize things very deeply, all right? So you could have uh, video testimonials, you could have uh, text testimonials. Um, you can go in and change the style of it. Uh, you can do a lot there. Uh, let's see here. Another thing you can do is if you had a promotion you're doing, you can put a countdown timer here. All right. So that would count down to the time that they can get this discount. All right. If you're going to do that, let me take it out here. Um, let's see here. So I would feel like <clears throat> if you have this set up, uh, this page would work exactly like how I show you if you fill in the gaps. And then what I want to do here is click on settings. And when I click on settings, I'm going to go to checkout form. And here's where I can extract more info if I want. So as you can see here on the left, it says contact, first name, last name, email. So if I wanted, I could get the, the billing address. I could get the phone number. I could change how many people... like essentially how many times they can sign up for this. So I put max quantity 10. So this is great for camps and clinics because you could have one parent sign up and they could sign up for 10 people at once. And essentially if they did that, they pay four grand in this situation, right? Um, let's see here. You could be email confirmation. So this way when people sign up, right? They don't give you the wrong email. And then they're like, Hey, I didn't get a receipt. Like they're forced to give their, their right email. Cause they have to do it two times. All right. Uh, and then again, you can come in here, custom fields, name of parent who referred me, uh, pretty simple stuff here. So I can go back into, uh, the settings here where it says checkout form. And then I'm going to go down here. I can change how this looks here. So I can put uh, credit cards, modern, classic. I like that one. That one's pretty cool. So I can use that one. And then this is probably the most key element that I know you're probably wanting to figure out. So where it says terms and conditions, always want to have this on. So you switch the toggle on, and then we put our terms and conditions URL. Now, if we put our terms and conditions URL, I'm just going to use this one, for example, and then we go back up and then we click publish. All right. I can just click on this preview button here and you'll see here, this product is in test mode. So, it's always going to do that when you create a brand new product and all you have to do to switch that is you just click publish and then you switch it into live. So now it's live. So let me come back to the page. So now this is a very fast example of how to set this up. So 12 month commitment, video, bullets, testimonials, checkout. I'm getting all the information. These are all required fields, all right? And the only way a customer can pay is if they fill everything out and they click this 
and then they pay. So you can link here your terms. Now, what I recommend, I, I have a, a private training business. So I recommend clients sign an agreement before they get here. That's my process. Not saying that you have to do it that way, but that gives me more security. A lot of the coaches that we help do it that way as well. So if you have terms on your website, that's great. Um, you can have people agree to that. So that way you're not running into a problem. Well, well, I didn't know we were getting billed every 30 days or can I cancel early? If you have clear terms, then you have committed clients. If you don't have terms, then people could probably cancel whenever, uh, they could do a chargeback on their car. I mean, there's a million things that can happen that can go bad with this. All right. So let me go back here. All right. So we've already done the terms. Uh, we added this product and just going back to this, if you have one client who signs up here, that is a $4,800 sale. Cause if you multiply 400 times 12, it's a $4,800 sale when you have one person sign up for this, right? So a lot of the coaches that we help, what they're doing is they're just building a, a, a recurring revenue model with their, uh, with their membership here. It's very simple. So now you're not dealing with tons of clients. You're dealing with really committed clients who are, who are committed for the long term with you. All right. So I hope you can see how I, I have the setup. It's very simple. Okay. And all I have to do in this scenario is I just take this link and then I can email it to the prospect who's going to become a client or I could text it to them. All right. Very simple. And this looks solid on a phone too. Most people that sign up for my stuff do it from their phone. So it's optimized for mobile, which is different than a lot of the other processing companies out there. It doesn't look good on mobile. This looks very professional. So, and you can also customize how that looks um, within Samcart. All right. Now, the last thing I want to show you here, this is something kind of new that they put out is I can go, I'm back in the product here. I can go down and click on where it says allow coupons. I can click on. And what I want to do here is scroll all the way down and click on, uh, add coupon. So I could say, um, coupon code 50 off coupon duration, each recurring charge. Actually, I'll just do apply once percentage 50. And from there I can go back in to here and you will see Oops, let me come back into. You'll see the coupon field will show up here. And from there, I can just watch this. I can go 50 off, uh, apply coupon code. And you'll see here, that'll be taken away from the first payment. So you can make that a, a, a recurring thing or just a one-time thing. This works very good. I've seen this happen so much over the last couple of months with coaches who do clinics or camps and coaches who've implemented this properly have, have generated thousands of dollars. Like, cause they could have a, a clinic that's a hundred dollars and they could say, Hey, for this, for this amount of time, you can get it for 50% off. Use this coupon code 50 off or whatever your coupon code is. And then clients can go there, set it up. Boom. Everyone feels good when they get a coupon. All right. That's why I love adding that in there. Um, if it applies to what you're doing. So that right there is how you set this up. Um, and the last thing I recommend is setting up a Google doc that has every link that you create in Sam cart. So if you have, let's say you have 20 different links, all right? You can use one link for every, for every one. Like if you have one service and it's a set price, you could just use that and everyone has one link. All right, and that's fine. But if you have different offers, then you would want to set up a Google Doc that has every single link on there. So you can just go to that Google Doc, get the link, send it on. All right, it's a very easy way to stay organized. Now, if you have any questions for me about uh, setting up SamCart or how to do anything else on there, 
uh, reach out to me. I'm planning on creating more videos on this channel that are going to go a little bit deeper than what I went uh, today. But if you want to take advantage of the free trial, go ahead, grab the free trial below this video. And um, that will get you that free 14 day trial. So you can test it out yourself. And uh, if you have any questions for me, just send me a text. My number is 210-960-5771. I'm completely off of social media. Uh, I don't check Instagram. I don't check Twitter. I don't check Facebook. So best way to reach out to me is just text me. It's the fastest way to get to me. Um, and if you have any questions about this, I can help you out. That's it. And I'll see you later.